Welcome to the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Rolex authorized dealers no longer sell timepieces to the general public. Instead, they assign them to clients who provide them with additional advantages beyond the simple selling of a submariner watch, for instance. It's important to take care of clients who buy other higher margin watches and jewelry in large quantities to reap these benefits. Adding to the dilemma are these new customers. Flippers, on the other hand, exacerbate shortages by convincing authorized dealers to sell them bundles of Rolex watches that they may resell for a profit, usually in other countries including the United States. Although the practice of reselling a Rolex watch purchased from an authorized Rolex retailer is becoming increasingly popular, customers who are unfamiliar with the Rolex market may be surprised to learn that doing so is a contentious issue. The Rolex watch market, on the other hand, has developed in a way that is distinct from most others. First, we must understand why Rolex needs to know if you flip your watch before we get into the details of how they know. Rolex watches are unbelievably difficult to obtain today because demand is outpacing supply and Rolex sells its timepieces through a network of authorized retailers around the world, excluding a boutique in Geneva. In other words, the retailers get to pick and choose who gets to wear the Rolex watches. Even though Rolex benefits from lower costs, lower risks, and less paperwork, they also lose control over who buys their timepieces because of this. Due to the high demand of many Rolex models, which far exceeds the number of watches that Rolex can produce and ship to these retailers, customers must participate in a waiting list and then wait to be notified when the watch they want becomes available at the retailer. Depending on how many people are on the waiting list and how many pieces the store receives, the possible wait time for the most highly sought-after models could be decades. According to the principles of the market, prices are expected to go up over time. However, under the terms of their contracts, official Rolex retailers are required to sell their watches at the suggested retail price specified by Rolex. In practice, this means that when a retailer sells a popular watch to a customer, they do so for a price that is less and in some cases, a lot less than what the market has determined the watch to be worth. As a consequence of this, a customer who buys a desirable watch has the ability to immediately resell it on the secondary market for a price that is greater than the price which they initially purchased it. The fact that many Rolex watches may be purchased at the recommended retail price and then sold at a profit makes this a very enticing option for many people who can get their hands on a specific model at the recommended retail price and then resell it to earn a profit. While not all Rolex models are affected, a rising number of them are becoming more difficult to obtain in recent years. Herein lies the complication despite the fact that Rolex does not participate in the second-hand market. Some of its customers end up selling the watches they buy, which goes against the company's interests because the brand is not involved in the second-hand market. Due to this, they lose some degree of power. It might also mean that those who truly desire and appreciate a specific watch will have a far more difficult time acquiring one. This has resulted in unsatisfied clients and a negative perception of the Rolex name which is obviously terrible for the company. But at the same time, any firm, particularly luxury companies that aims to offer its staff an exclusive and distinctive status, suffers from the same consequences as well. The fact that most Rolex watches sell for more than the suggested retail price and that Rolex is more famous than ever before means that they are able to sell even more watches, which helps Rolex benefit from being in a scenario where demand exceeds supply. Even while many models will still be cheaper than those on the secondary market, the manufacturers may be able to hike their pricing without making much of a fuss. Most people who complain about not being able to buy a Rolex watch would not buy one if the case didn't look the way it does, and they may not desire one if they ended up losing money. Because, let's face it, human nature has a tendency to long for what we don't have. Reselling a watch acquired from a merchant is a challenge for those unfamiliar with the present condition of Rolex market dynamics. All in all, because you paid money for the watch, it's yours to do with as you like. And there are several reasons why some individuals may need to sell their Rolex watch, aside from generating money. 
Nevertheless, given the current situation of the market, the issue of flippers or people who sell watches as soon as they get them has become a trending issue because of the huge demand of Rolex timepieces. Even while Rolex does not know for sure whether this is the case, it has been confirmed by multiple trustworthy sources, and it wouldn't be strange considering Rolex's goal to sell its watches to the end user, which is why they are continuously searching for watch flippers. Rolex authorized dealers have also recruited personnel to aggressively search the internet for customers who have sold watches they purchased from their store. And some customers have even been barred from acquiring more watches from the retailers when they were discovered to have sold a highly rated timepiece. So now, the real question is, if a watch is being sold or flipped, how does Rolex know? They may determine this in three ways. First, a watch and its serial number are the first things they notice while searching for a timepiece online. Secondly, the watch must be returned to the store where it was originally purchased. If someone comes in with it to have it serviced or authenticated and it's not the person who bought it. Finally, a customer calls the store to inquire if the watch has been sold and is concerned that the watch they purchased is genuine. However, after Rolex released its new warranty card design in 2020, which no longer includes the name of the retailer who originally sold the watch, this has become more difficult. And although the main concern is when buyers sell new watches shortly after purchasing them as opposed to selling their watches many years later, this is no longer a major issue. Visible serial numbers that may be used to identify watches are searched by Rolex as well as some official Rolex merchants on the internet. Many sellers obfuscate the serial numbers of their watches for this very reason. However, the serial number of the watch can be seen by Rolex because some people don't hide it in their marketing. A Rolex authorized dealer can tell for sure if they've sold the watch in question if they do the inquiry or investigation. It's possible that some retailers are either uninformed or uninterested that Rolex is inspecting watches being sold online. As a consequence, Rolex may uncover an ad, identify the shop that sold the watch, and contact them to alert them of this. This shop may be selling to flippers and perhaps dealers if Rolex finds that many of these watches sell quickly on the second-hand marketplace. If this is the case, they may be issued a warning. The retailer may decide to place them on the blacklist, banning them from making any further purchases if they are informed that one of their customers has sold or flipped the timepiece. Some retailers also make the common error of neglecting the fact that Rolex watches have the serial number etched at 6 o'clock. They may obscure the serial number on the warranty card, but fail to recognize that the serial number is visible in the engraving. People who are oblivious to the fact that they cannot sell their brand new watch, which is acceptable given that it's their property and they should, in theory, be allowed to do anything they want with it, can plainly indicate that they acquired the watch from Shop X on the specified date. If Rolex or the retailer discovers this, they will be readily exposed. However, we would like to emphasize that Rolex has no means of knowing if a watch is sold through a warranty card, as the warranty is never tied to a specific individual, but rather to the watch itself. Rolex does not maintain any ownership records indicating when a watch is sold or transferred. How do you think Rolex's future will look in light of the present status of the watch market and the watch flipping issue? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And that's the wrap for today's video. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe if you want to be the first to hear about the next incredible luxury item. Stay tuned for the next video.